Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Another warning popped in my head. This one is about you party animals. You love to go to the party. You're in a college dorm. Wherever you are, you're at a party. You're at a dance, whatever. And while you're at this dance, you find out that they're not just having punch, but the punch is spiked, baby. And they have all these unique drinks with sherbet and all kind of goodies all in there. It just makes it so exotic and so exciting. So, of course, you want to sample. Let me tell you this. Don't sit there and feel like you have to be drunk to have fun. The one thing you never want to lose is the ability to use your mind in a situation. You want your mind sharp at all times. You don't ever have to get drunk a day in your life. It is not necessary for you to enjoy yourself. And this is why I warn you about it. This is what my father warned me about. And I, and, and I stuck pretty close to what he said. I'd take a sip once in a while, but I was very leery. And I would always make sure I was around my friends or my relatives. We were out having fun. The reason you have to be careful is way back then, when I was young, back in the Stone Ages, they would spike the drinks, but they would also add acid and pills and all kind of little kooky little stuff to give it a little extra kick. And the kick was to make you so disoriented that men could have their way with you. Or men and women could have their way with you young men. Either way, it was a lose-lose situation because you are not even in your right mind. You can't even control what's going on because you have to, half of the time, you're even half unconscious. So be very careful about what you allow yourself to partake in at parties. Be careful about smoking. I remember one time we were standing in a circle out in an alley across from the college uh, festivities where they had this, this dance for the college students. And we were in an alley passing one joint around six people. One joint. And we would all take one or two. I think it only lasted when we could only take one or two. And we were crossing the street. I hadn't gotten halfway across the street and I could no longer feel the ground under my feet. I felt as if I were floating. When we got onto the school grounds and got to the dance building, I started giggling like an idiot and I couldn't stop. When one of my friends took me into the restroom to put cold water on my face, I couldn't stand up. I slid down on the floor and I tried to reach the paper towel and I could see it, but I couldn't figure out where it was. I was that far gone and I had to wait there a while because guards were around and I, I didn't want to get arrested. And my friend was telling me, stay there until it wears out a little bit. When we got up and went back out of the restroom into the dance, a friend of mine would be dancing and getting down. And before you know it, she'd freeze. And we would say, come on, girl. Come on, are you okay? And she, huh, huh, huh. And she'd get back to dancing and she'd freeze. Well, once we got her to the point where she realized something wasn't right, I ain't further into the dance. I'm deeper into the crowd. And I think I'm dreaming because everybody's moving in slow motion. Now, it was a very good thing. Thank God he watched over us because we had to wait until our heads were halfway. They never did get screwed on right, but we had to drive people home like that. I say that to say, just because you know a person or you think you know a person that's handing you a joint, or giving you a sip, whatever, 
does not mean that that person won't doctor that thing up. And you could get jacked up for life. You could have an accident that you never recover from. All kind of crazy things can happen. Rape, molestation, they could pull a train on you. And what that old expression means is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty guys could have their way with you. And you could be bleeding, you could be hurting and screaming, but they're still going to get that nut off, baby, because you're there. And you're not in control. And you're not a threat. They can do whatever they want with you because your brain is half cocked. You be careful what you allow yourself to do at parties, please.